the fourth death in the United States due to the H1N1 virus, has been reported in Arizona. And here in New York, another flare-up has occurred just as public concern about the flu had begun to ease. CBS News correspondent Bianca Solorzano has the very latest. Good morning, Bianca. Hi, good morning. World Health Organization officials are warning that we should not let our guard down just yet. In fact, three new schools here in New York City are closed because of H1N1 virus flaring back up. The cases among students at this school here in Queens are mild, but the assistant principal has been hospitalized. Two weeks after the crisis seemed all but over. I'm about to make an announcement that I had hoped we could avoid. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg announced that the city is closing three public schools for a week due to a flare-up of H1N1 cases. We're closing these schools in order to slow transmission. An assistant principal at one of the schools became New York's first critically ill flu patient. At another school, 241 students, or 16 percent of the student body, was absent Thursday. Usually you don't see many flu cases during the warmer months. The H1N1 virus has now spread to 34 countries, responsible for 69 deaths and more than 6,500 illnesses worldwide. In the U.S., there are 4,300 confirmed cases, more cases than reported in Mexico. I'm concerned not only for my child, but for other kids. It is conceivable that we're going to see many more cases of this during the colder months. However, I don't think anyone really knows what to expect during that time. And vaccine experts have not yet decided whether to issue the go-ahead for wide-scale production of the H1N1 vaccine. Now, according to a new CBS poll, those polls say that uh, nearly two-thirds of them are not concerned about a member of their household getting the H1N1 virus. Now back to you. Bianca Zolorzano. Thanks, Bianca. Here now is our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, good morning. Good morning, Julie. Why wouldn't vaccine experts just go ahead and do a widespread production of this vaccine? It's a calculated risk assessment, Julie. They have to first type the virus, which they have done, and then they have to decide whether they are going to put the resources in both time and money into developing widespread. They have to assess how many people they think are going to get sick next flu season. And why is this H1N1 virus more common in colder months and not warmer months. Well, in general, that's the good news is that the flu virus does tend to die out as it gets more war warmer and more humid. That's why, if anything, it's made it a little easier to pick up this latest outbreak because you don't typically see influenza outbreaks now that we're into May. So is this latest death in Arizona and the closing of more schools in Queens here in New York, is this a surprise? Actually, it's not. We expected there to be more cases because we were very early in the outbreak last week and two weeks ago, and we will continue to see more. What people are looking ahead to is next flu season and how prevalent and serious we think the outbreak might be then. In the final seconds, anything else we need to know about this virus? It's mild so far, and it is going to be widespread. Common sense precautions when you're sick. Try not to expose yourself to other people. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much.